Some of you are about to be real mad at me with this tier list, but that's fine. I felt like it's about that time to just go and rank the Smash reveals we have from Snake all the way down to Sephiroth. So I guess we just start with Snake, of course. Snake? I didn't know, not only did I not really know Snake as a character in general as a kid, but I just kind of got Brawl at random, and that was my first Smash game. So I just kind of saw him one day, and I thought he was pretty cool. But knowing him just now, I feel his reveal is honestly top tier. Like, it, it just... For before, a character like Snake, I don't think people thought he would get in due to his games, and then here he is fighting Mario. <laughs> Speaking of which, Sonic, uh, also same tier, video game rivals, that's all I really have to say on that. <laughs> So that's Brawl's out of the way. Um, Villager... I'm kind of split on how to rank Villager because he was really like the Smash 4 um, reveal. So it's kind of putting both of them at the same time in a way. Villager as Villager I put in B tier. Smash 4, I'd personally put in like A tier, even S tier. So I'll like put a, I'll, you know, I'll compromise it, top of B tier. Mega Man Legacy, uh, wanted character. I've constantly seen people be hyped over this character. <laughs> S tier, easy, it's free. Wii Fit was just funny. Honestly, <laughs> I, I just think that was a funny kind of a uh, reveal. Rosa, C tier. <laughs> Easy. I don't really have much else to say about that. She's nice, but C tier. That's it. Mac, um, I'm putting him in A tier due to the fact that he was... I'm pretty sure the first assist to become an actual character, and I think that at the time was very impressive. And plus, also for me, I like Punch Out a lot, so <laughs> seeing him as a character made me like hype. <laughs> um, I don't have Charizard on here actually. Dang. Oh well. Uh, Greninja. Greninja, people got japed into thinking this would be Mewtwo, I remember that much, but Greninja as a whole, I'd say probably B tier. I didn't know who Greninja was, I didn't have X and Y, um, I just thought it was a neat ninja frog Pokemon that I can barely play. <laughs> Mies, that's also in the C tier. Um, I want to say better than Rosa. At least because of how much you can do with Mies. Palu. Where did I put Palutena? Because the reveal trailer, in more ways than it was just the animation, which. Please make a Smash Bros. anime. I would love that. Um, I'd probably put her in. Bottom of A. Top of, not top, top of B, but just bottom of A, at least for right now. Pac-Man's also A, <laughs> A tier. <laughs> I just like, I like Pac-Man a lot. Like, before Smash, I just really like Pac-Man in general. Um, Lucina, this was before Smash Community hated Fire Emblem characters. So, I'd probably put her in the B tier section because Awakening was a popular game if I remember correctly. Robin though 
I'd say this, I'd say Robin is slightly better than Lucina in terms of reveal. Because new Fire Emblem character and whatnot. Well, actually, new Fire Emblem character with a different moveset. Shulk. He only goes above Greninja due to the fact that I just thought he looked really cool with the whole Monado switches and whatnot. Um, I didn't know who he was. I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't know who he was. I didn't hear anything about Xenoblade Chronicles. But, I mean, his reveal was really good as a whole, so. Yeah. Bowser Jr., D tier. And same for Duck Hunt, to be honest. And I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly with these two, they came out after Smash 3DS was revealed. So, there was kind of no point in having them. Uh, there was no point in showing them, is what I want to say. Because they were already basically revealed, like they were already known to be in the game. So, why have the reveals in general? Mewtwo, um, he was the first DLC, so easy, top of A, returning melee character, and on top of that, another returning melee character, Roy, I'd say also A tier, not better than Max, because Max was really well done, but I'd say bottom of A. Lucas, for me personally, S tier. And that's because I loved Lucas. <laughs> um, Lucas was one of my characters that I played in Brawl. And I'd say that, but what I really mean is I stood on the other side of Bridge of Elden, like one of the blast zones, specifically the right blast zone, and waited for people to approach and just grab them and back through them because I thought that was a good strat. But then my friend um, just said, no, picks Mario and <laughs> destroys me like that regardless. So didn't matter. But he he's still very nostalgic for me. It's fine. Ryu, if it weren't for him being leaked, Ryu would most definitely be in this section. Regardless, I'm still putting him in S tier. Roy also would probably be around the same way, like higher on the list due to, um, just, just if it weren't for the leaks, then they'd be higher on the list. Cause I remember seeing a classic mode victory screen for Ryu that got leaked and I thought that was just some sort of really good mod for whatever reason, then, uh, then it came true, and while I was still very much hyped, I would have been much more out of my seat if Ryu weren't leaked, and that upset me very much. Eventually. Corrin. I like Corrin, but D tier. <laughs> Better than Junior and Duck Hunt, because again, at least, you know, they weren't shown. I remember just being happy, um seeing some people uh, get hyped for Corrin, so that was all that mattered to me, but even then, uh, Corrin as a reveal in general, uh, D tier. I think this is also when people started to hate Fire Emblems. Cloud is an easy S tier, like around this level, to be honest, because this one also broke and changed everything. Bayo. Um, it was a smash ballot thing, but Bayonetta, um, I would say is a good A tier. Yeah, I don't need to explain words for this one. I don't need to explain words for this one. These two were just the defining trailers of Ultimate. Ooh. They were the defining trailers of Ultimate. Oh 
Daisy. Uh, eh. Daisy is like a. Yeah, it's a C tier. Bottom of C. And it doesn't really have much to do with her being an Echo Fighter, just more so they just said, yeah, and Daisy's here. Anyways, back to Ultimate. Ridley, um, for the sake of legacy and whatnot, he's too big, not anymore. Uh, top tier, S tier. Simon and Richter, I would say belongs in the A tier section. Like, right here, yeah. So Simon specifically goes in A tier. Richter, like, barely below that. Like, right here. He would be lower, but first of all, plenty of people knew of Castlevania Symphony of the Night and uh, Rondo of Blood and Dracula X. So they, some people knew who Richter was. A lot of people just went, Who? Oh! Krom, not exactly on the super hype, but it was more like super happy to see that he finally got his chance. So I would put him like right below Villager. And then same for Dark Samus. Well, not, not, not right below Villager, but I'd say more so... Uh, where's she walking? I'd probably put her like right there. Well, I mean, for me personally, it'd be right here, but I, I'll, I'll just say right here. I haven't played a single Metroid Prime game, but I love Dark Samus' design so much. The whole black and blue aesthetic is just so pleasing. I love that color combination so much. Anyways, K. Rool, um, not S tier, but definitely a tier i honestly say that probably topped simon isabel is like bleh not that i didn't not that i disliked it but <laughs> it was just kind of there it did confirm a new animal crossing game though all the rituals all the summoning circles did work they did come true so i will put isabel above daisy slightly ken he was the first part of the oh the Grinch League is real it came true so I will put Ken for part of that reason in the A tier section but where like right there next to Simon Incineroar though I'll put near <laughs> I'll put him like right, right near Ken Kind of next door. Not well not next door at this point. But you'll go right here. Incineroar. Had people caught off guard and all that. Plant was the funniest trailer I've <laughs> Plant was hilarious. I loved it so much. Everyone got japed. Joker, if we're talking no, both Joker trailers honestly were S tier. The way it was revealed at the Game Awards and all was amazing. It doesn't top Cloud though, I can say that, but I'll put it right next to Mega Man. Hose Mad Generator, I will say, that's a mixed bag. Like, I want to put him in the A tier section, honestly. Like, right... Right there. Because again, one, Hose Mad Generator, and two, uh, the plenty of people in Japan that were hyped for that, and the plenty of people in America that were upset, or the few of them that loved Dragon Quest. And also, I didn't know who he was. I only knew Erdrick, and then when they saw Erdrick, yes. Banjo and Kazooie. <sighs> the who and what combo uh me personally it was like 
production value wise you know it makes it go up but them as a character for me B tier the it like I didn't know much about Banjo I didn't really care for Banjo but I was just really happy for those that wanted him in the game in general and then only three Banjo people are in the Banjo court so uh, there's that unfortunate but that's just how it is when you have a character like Banjo Terry um, <laughs> a tier for free <laughs> That was one of the characters I was actually very giddy for because, ooh, I didn't know much about Terry, but I just knew I could bust your wolf people in this game and that's all I wanted to do when I saw Terry being revealed. Also, editor's note, Terry Kirby is adorable and I love him so much. Byleth, I am, okay, to be completely honest, if it were me, I liked Byleth's reveal trailer. I didn't know much of Three Houses, if anything, yet somehow when I saw the first few seconds, I knew for a fact that it was Three Houses and Byleth in general. I don't know how, I don't know why, but like the Smash community did not enjoy Byleth. I remember that, but I'll make like a good compromise because the song was banging. Uh, I'll, I'll say by the better than Corrin, but not, war not. It doesn't make it super high on the list. I wasn't disappointed by Byleth again. I just wasn't exactly like on my yo, this is so cool. I can't wait sort of thing like the characters in S had me and other people but again the song slapped so it definitely excused that Min Min this depends on where like which reveal if that makes sense because first we like when they revealed by the way here's the next DLC character it's a character from arms who we don't know well you don't know you'll have to wait four months to discover so I'm pretty sure that already had some people sleep but from there it being Min Min quote deconfirmed spirits but then we'll get into what happened with that later so I'd say Min Min is probably still good like I like the trailer personally Min looked really cool, so I'd say right there in the bottom of B tier. Steve is S tier solely for the fact that not only is Minecraft Steve in the video game, but he is the only character on here, as far as I'm aware, that has broken Twitter. Literally broke Twitter. When he broke into the cobblestone caves to see Mario, he did not realize that he was hitting the whole internet router with that and just Twitter imploded good lord you couldn't send tweets for like what 20 minutes or something I don't remember how much it was but <laughs> he's the only character to do that so that that's a that's menacing and Sephiroth also in the S tier um, for me personally it's more than Steve and that's due to my love for Final Fantasy 7 and also Sephiroth deconfirmed the deconfirm with uh, spirits being deconfirmed because when Min Min came in everyone thought oh this means spirits are deconfirmed this means Geno has a higher chance and then Sephiroth said yeah no I stole his smash invitation gave his whole star road to spare and now I'm here I hate you all. This is all my tier list on the hype reveals for Smash Brothers history. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, you all don't agree with this, but that's perfectly fine because I don't care. It's okay. Um, <laughs> no, seriously. 
Um, if you, you know, disagree, you know, disagree in the comments and whatnot. Uh, but overall, this is my hyped tier list for Smash Bros. I don't know how to do outros, so thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel today so you don't miss any content, blah blah blah, whatever other YouTubers say. I don't do YouTube, I don't know how this works. Yeah, let's.